Hello, hello, Hebrews BB Walker. Welcome to my channel again. Today, a quick video for Dave Duckdale, who asked about the installation packs, mixing installation packs from different expansion packs. And of course, we will be using Yamaha Expansion Manager. There is a few videos already free to be specific on my channel where I'm showing this content, but today I will make a complete video. I will show you how to download, where to find them and how to mix them. I mean, how to get content from one pack or another pack and then create one installation file that we will be prepare and install on the Yamaha PSR uh, S670 or any other Yamaha keyboard. So let's get started. Let's take a look in here into website called shopusayamaha.com. And here, if you are a registered customer, you can buy sometimes for free, you can get for free uh, products. And one of these products are, of course, this um, voice and style expansion pack. So I have downloaded a few of them. Um, so basically you click and download. And let's take a look how this file look like. So best of Europe is the last that I have downloaded. So we are going here, show in folder. And here is uh, this file is called a zip file. So it's, it is an archive. So in Windows, you are clicking the right uh, click and you get extract all. And of course, here is the window. Yeah, you need to extract them somewhere. I recommend you to extract all your packs into one folder. In my case, it will be Yamaha packs. So select folder extract. We are waiting, 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 waiting. And you need to know here, I can tell you this tip that in this pack, you get packs for different instruments. So basically, let's take a look what is inside uh, such a packs. So if you extract this, you will get the CPF files. And here is Balkan, Best of Europe and Eurodance. So basically I have downloaded and extracted three different expansion packs and all of them are in this folder called Yamaha Packs. Um, so the files that come from the website from the Yamaha actually uh, are called CPF. And there is a video where I'm making a conversion. So CPF is a file with packs and we will be making CPI, so packs installation files. Okay, so this is all uh, if we are talking about extraction file, etc. Let's close it for a moment. And now let's start the software called Expansion Manager. Yeah. So Expansion Manager is Yamaha Expansion Manager is also a free software. You can download it. I will give you some links in the description. Yeah. So we get it. Uh, okay. So if you know and you are watching my channel from quite some time, if not, please remember to subscribe. But if you are watching it, you know that there are several videos when I'm creating my own packs. So voids from wave files, and then I will, I have installed them on the instrument. Hey, why are you disabled? So um, basically um, here you get, if you are in my packs, here is an important uh, thing. We are here on my packs. So if you are on my packs, this is your whole digital content. It's not connected with the instrument yet. And here you do the following things. First, of course, you need to import your uh, recently purchased uh, packs into this program. So you are clicking plus and you are clicking import pack. If you want to create your own pack, use create pack and check the video where I am creating packs. So import pack. And we are now selecting the file CPF, which is uh, you know, compatible with our instrument. As you can see here is S670, 770, 7700 Yamaha, Yamaha S970, etc. SX600, SX700, SX900. And those pack has been downloaded a few seconds ago. So they have the newest instruments from Yamaha. A few years ago, when I have making those things for the first time, of course, they were no... 600, SX, 900, etc. So I am selecting 
uh, already Balkan is installed, so let's select this best of Europe, okay, and now we wait for, um, you know, analyzing it, the file is okay, so it, it's importing pack and we are waiting. Waiting, yes. And here is the uh, content of this particular pack. Best of Europe consists of accordion cabana, flamenco, etc. So there are voices, there are styles, there are some... Um, basically, if you take a look, you will see what is in sight. But uh, for this moment, you are only watching it, uh, viewing it in a, let's call it, read-only mode. So let's import the last one that I have downloaded today. It was Eurodance 670. So, of course, if your instrument is 670, select 670. But if your instrument is different, then don't forget to select appropriate instrument. Okay, so we are waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. So this is our content, custom pack and free packs bought from Yamaha website. And what is next? The next step is here on the left side, we got our instruments. Basically, I have the added that my two instruments in here, you can add that it using the machine file. There's also a video when I'm doing it for 670, or if the if your instrument is connected with USB MIDI cable, it could be discovered automatically. So basically, you are selecting now the instrument where you want to install your packs. And here the magic happens. As you can see, there is another view in here. First of all, we get those uh, checks. Yeah, we get information about the memory which is av available on our instrument. Basically, this is not the real memory available on our instrument, but this is the memory which is available in an instrument if you are installing complete new expansion pack manager. You need to know very important thing that you can install only one expansion user pack on the instrument, and you can put them a few things. So. If the check is completely uh, green, it means that the whole content of these voices, it was my voices, hey, BB Walker, etc., will be installed on this uh, instrument if we create a pack, which is in here, but for a moment. Let's go to another new pack. And here I can select by click on unclick some in, uh, I'll let's, well, accordions. Okay, I want accordions. I go on this one and this style and maybe this one and this one. As you can see, if I'm clicking, everything here changes because you are limited by the memory of your instrument. So you need to choose wisely. And let's go to another, maybe here. And as you can see, this uh, icon is green but gray, it, which means something is partially uh, selected. Okay, so let's go to another. And again, Italian saxophone, contrabass, whatever. Click, click, click until we will be full. So, and let's go to last one and click something completely random. I don't want to make some great. And of course, we can do it as long as we have memory. User, uh, we can change order. Spaces, user drive size, voice, wave size, etc. It automatically uh, render and see how much packs you can put them. As you can see, there is still some place. So, okay. And if you are happy with your result and your uh, memory is, of course, still available, you cannot go over the limit of the memory. You click save as pack installation file and this pack is called CPI. So basically what we are doing now, we are creating a CPI file and in this file will be uh, BB Walker's voices, will be Balkan, uh, will be some Euro, some whatever they have called. This is actually our CPI file. We are saving it somewhere. And, and as you can see, 
There is some warning, but don't worry, you are saving this file into USB memory stick, uh, like this one, and then you put on the instrument and make the installation. And won't be making installation now because I have, as I have said at the beginning, it should be sh short video. So basically, this is all for now. I hope you, Dave, now you will be able to create your own voices mixing and your pack. So please also check the other video if you don't know how to create machine file, how to add this into targets area in here. And also check the another video when I'm showing the installation process. And remember, you can only have one, one CPI file installed in here. And of course, you can repeat this process as many times as you want, but you may, you need to remember that each time you install installation pack on the instrument, the previous version of the CPI file is uh, overwritten. Yeah, it's deleted and, you know, uh, written again into memory. So I think it's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribing my channel and soon there will be more interesting questions. Please give me a comment which we, which kind of video you would like to see on the next time. See you later. It was Baby Walker.